Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Circuit Tutorial. Now, let's discuss how the ULN 2003 working. As you can see, we have a black diagram and the circuit diagram of its dry bell of the ULN 2003. Pin 1 to pin 7 is the input and pin 10 to pin 16 is the output. Pin 8 is the ground and pin 9 is the common which is the pre-wheeling diodes to protect the internal transistor and also to test the output load. Now, let's analyze the dry bell and let's see how it works. So when the input is logic high, then the transistor one will be activated so the current from the output flowing through the collector of the transistor 1 and going out from the emitter and flowing to the base of the transistor 2 and goes out to the emitter and back to the ground. Then the current flowing through the collector of the transistor 2 and goes out through the emitter and back to the ground. And you can see the LED is glowing. So remember guys, when the input is logic high, then the output is logic low. But when the input is logic low, then the output is logic high. So when the output is high and the input voltage is high, then the output is off. So the input must be logic high so that the output is logic low to activate the output. Pin 9 connected to the anode of the diode and the cathode is connected to the collector of the output. And also the output is connected to the cathode of the LED. So meaning, when the common connected to the ground, then the output will be activated simply because the current from the power supply flowing through the LED and goes out from the cathode then flowing through the internal diode and back to the ground. That is why pin 9 also used to test the output load. So that is how the ULN 2003 works. Now, let's see the actual circuit on my breadboard. So let's use this circuit diagram to test the actual circuit.